Hey YouTube, today I'll be reviewing what I believe is hands down the best Thai place in Seattle. But first remember to subscribe to this video to get notified of similar content that I upload. So I'm taking you guys to the Fremont neighborhood in Seattle. This place is called Kin Len, a total gem. When I first walked in, I already noticed the amazing interior decor. Definitely gave street food vibes with all of the colors, and they have all these antique objects by the front desk. And I'll just say that I love these food pillows. Anyway, arrived on a Saturday afternoon and now being taken to the back area for more seating. It's much more spacious than it looks from the outside and the space gives a mix of some street food market and nightclub vibes. Just so you know, they do have happy hour every day from 3 to 6 and then 9 to closing so definitely a plus when coming here on the weekend. I will say that I appreciate their playlist as well since you can rock out to Ed Sheeran in the background. Anyways, time for a drink. Got a light like martini, and it was impressive in that you not only got one or two, but three pieces of lychee. And then here's the spread of the food. I'll comment on each item starting with the Thai papaya salad. So this classic salad is made with fresh ingredients, love the tangy flavor, and you get a hint of shrimp paste. The sauce was so good even down to the last drop. With boat noodle everything, it's essentially a little bit of everything, including morning glory, innards, and beef tongue. Great if that's what you're looking for. This kind of reminds me of a mashup between Japanese sukiyaki and Vietnamese pho. In any event, this dish was very, very comforting. And yes, here's the beef tongue. Then, the Thai fried squid is not that much different than the typical calamari fanfare, but comes with a spicy lime sauce and served with some pineapple slices. For the red curry vermicelli, I'm more used to having this over rice, but this was pretty tasty given that the noodles soaked up all the curry sauce. And don't forget the signature crispy fried egg. Took a little break from eating to enjoy the view as it got darker, and with one more drink, we'll call it a night. That was a wonderful meal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please go in and give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. You'll get a notification every time I upload new content. Until the next video.